Hello cruising world, Mick the Soup Guy with you and today I'm going to do something a little bit different to what I normally do. I'm not going to give you a specific, you know, instructions or, or tips or whatever on one specific thing. I'm going to give you my top 10 things to do on Carnival Panorama. Now I know you're probably sick of me going on and about Carnival Panorama. Absolutely been my favourite ship at the moment. Also happens to be the one I spent about three weeks on in the last couple of months. So I, I like to feel I got to know it pretty well, but there's so much to do on this ship. Uh, I, I see on the Facebook page people saying all the time, ah, why are you planning so much? I'm just going to go and enjoy myself. Here's the thing, if you don't know what you've got to do, you won't do it. You ain't missing what you haven't had till you haven't got it anymore. Or whatever they say. Anyway, thing is this, know what's going on, plan some different things to do, because this ship has a lot more than a lot of other ships. So, here's my top 10 things to do on Carnival Panorama. And if you're not going on Carnival Panorama, and you say, I'm not interested in this video, watch it, because it might make you want to go on Carnival Panorama. Think about that. Anyway, here we go, top 10. Boom, no particular order, because I don't play favorites. Unless it's Presidente Beer, or Gigi's Asian Restaurant for dinner. Uh, or Nicola in the Alchemy Bar. Or oh, actually, I've got a lot of favorites. We've all got favorites, let's be honest. I mean, music-wise, guilty pleasures. I adore Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. You might not think that. You might not think it's true of me, but I like, the, I like, I like my Miley Cyrus song. But what can I say? Everybody's got them. Anyway, put me back on track. Enjoy this, everybody. Top 10 things, Carnival Panorama. Number one on my list, a martini making class in the Alchemy Bar. So much fun, especially if you get somebody as wonderful as Nicola to do the class for you. Now, this was $15. It took over an hour, well over an hour, and it was so entertaining. Everybody had so much fun. You get Nicola explaining how they make all the drinks in the Alchemy Bar. You get the chance to see some of the tricks of the trade, and you get the chance to make some drinks yourself. Here's the lovely Julie making her drink. By the end of this, we had a big crowd of people watching, all wishing they'd taken part. So you have to book this in advance. Definitely go to the Alchemy Bar if you're on your uh, cruise there and tell them you want to take part. They usually have it ad advertised on the wall. You see that chalkboard at the back there, or you can look in the fun times or on the hub and sign up for it. You won't regret it. As you can see, Julie had a lot of fun making her drink. And at the end of it, you get to dance with the bartender, AKA Nicola and this one. So much fun. And then the taste test. Although Nicola wasn't too happy with Julie's, she liked it. You even get a certificate. So there you have it. The martini making tasting class. Brilliant fun. Coming in at number two, we have the Sky Ride. It's going to be up on deck 12, just behind the main screen on Lido deck. You walk up to deck 11 up these stairs, and you'll be right there. They've got some lockers there you can leave gear. Right behind me is the ropes course. You can do that as well, of course. I didn't. I'm too scared. Make sure you meet the height requirements necessary, and make sure you wear closed-toed shoes if you are going to do this. Again, you can do the ropes course as well. That's just right next to this. So two things for one, really. But uh, I didn't do the ropes course, like I said, so I cannot speak to that. This takes about a minute, minute and a half to go around the whole thing. My recommendation is go on a port day when it's a bit quieter. We did this when we were in Cabo. You will see the ship is pretty empty because everybody's ashore. If you go during the middle of the day when everything's going on, the line will be quite long and you'll be quite a wait to get on board. So it's fun. It's a good thing to say you did it. You get some pictures on the way around. They'll take a picture you can buy as you go around. Uh, you cannot take anything with you. I wore a GoPro headgear thing so I could take the video here, but you can't carry anything at all. So this is the Skyride. Do it if you can. It's a good thing to say you did. Deck 12. Coming in at number three, Carnival Kitchen. Carnival's private cooking classes. You come into this room here. It's on deck four, just near the Heroes Bar, just past the casino. This is where you will eat afterwards. They have basically two types of classes. There's a $30 and a $50 or $60. The, um, the more expensive ones will basically take longer and have more food. They'll show you the utensils closet right there. Then you'll be directed to your table, usually in pairs, sometimes individual, depending on how many people do the classes. These are all the ingredients you will cook with. You'll see an iPad there. You can follow along with what the chef is doing and you get the chance to cook. Again, I cannot stress enough, don't eat too much of the stuff you cook because afterwards there will be a ton of food, especially if you do the dinners. You'll also get called up every now and then so the chef can show you more directly some of the things they do and they email you all the menus that you can cook at home with instructions. There we all are afterwards eating our dinner 
and there are the chefs. I promise you, this is great value, great fun, and you won't regret doing this. You can book online in advance, or you can book it on the day. Here is the list of the classes they do, and at the bottom, there's a number you can call if you want to. I do recommend doing it in advance before you cruise, because they do sell out. Sky Zone is something brand new for Carnival. It's only on the Panorama. It's between deck seven and eight, roughly midships. You can bounce up and down on trampolines. You can play basketball, they even have dodgeball, all sorts of things. This is the area you'll, you'll go in. Um, in a minute, I'm going to show you the times and the prices and all that good stuff. But there's different times when different age groups can go. So everybody gets a chance to come in and mess around, as it were, in the Sky Zone. Again, basketball, bouncing on trampolines, dodgeball, all sorts of things. They even have a rock and glow party in the evening where you can get T-shirts and bounce up and down to your heart's content to music. Um, there are the opening times of who can go at what time, where, why, and when. You can freeze the screen and look at it if you want now. And there's your costs, what you get. So that's the uh, Sky Zone. Deck 7 and 8, Carnival Panorama. Try it. Moving along, at number five, we have the Dr. Seuss Parade and Breakfast. Now, these will be on separate days. One day, you'll do the parade from the back to the front of the ship. Everybody joins with the cruise director and the fun squad. They parade to the main uh, theater where there'll be a show, a reading of the book. And then later in the week, typically, there'll be a Dr. Seuss Breakfast where they'll theme everything out. You'll get to meet thing one and thing two like we did. Right, Jay? And they'll mess with you. Right, Jay? Yeah. They'll even do a little show for you. Really well done. You do book it in advance. It's not free. It's like $6, I think, so it's not too expensive. But they do a really good job. But definitely you need to make reservations when you get on board. You cannot just show up. But uh, a fun time will be had by all kids and young at heart alike. Uh, a couple of pictures of the food coming up. So yeah, recommend it, even if you don't have kids. Coming in at number six is the chef's table. Now, you can do this on any ship. On some of the newer ships, like the Panorama, they'll have a special room like this. Other ships, they'll take you where you are going. You'll meet somewhere, probably the atrium lobby, and they'll take you where you need to go. They'll show you so much on this night. It's worth every penny. You'll get to see, make some appetizers for you in the galley area. You'll get to taste some amazing food in the main room that you are in. They'll even get to take you on a tour of the galley. They'll show you how to make the chocolate melting cake, maybe, maybe. Not promising, but they've done it every single time. Anyway, they'll, they'll show you some great food. You'll get to try some amazing stuff. It's not cheap, but I think it's worth every penny. You can go onto your online account on Carnival and book it in advance on the cruise, or you can get there on the ship and hope there's space is available, but it does sell out. On the Panorama, they pretty much ran it every day except the first day. So the chef's table, not cheap, but I think it's worth every penny. We've done it many times and they have some amazing chefs. Chef's table, do it. Number seven. Did you know they do appetizers in the Alchemy Bar? Well, they do. They're $4. Oyster, ahi pokey, and crispy shrimp that they make in Bonsai Sushi. And the smoked brisket slider they do in the steakhouse, both next door, either side. Here's a picture of the oysters. Here's a picture of the ahi pokey. And here's the crispy shrimp. Didn't see the brisket slider, but I'm assured they had it. Don't have a picture. Sorry. Coming in at number eight, we have the Pig and Anchor, another restaurant you don't see on many carnival ships. I do recommend you go if you have time and you can. It's going to be behind the main Pig and Anchor brewery by here where they make their own beers. You can even do a brewery tour during the day. Look that up on board. Should have included that in one of these top ten, but I had so many I couldn't fit them all in. Anyway, the restaurant's going to be at the back. They do a free lunch option. If you keep going through those doors and take a left, you'll get to the stuff they have for free at lunch. And there'll be music playing here in the evening as well. There's uh, the food we got. That was the sampler and a couple of desserts behind it, as you can see right there. Food was excellent and not overly priced. Your mains, oh, your appetizers rather, they're going to be $4 each. Your mains are going to run between $6 and $16. The master between $8 and $18. It all depends on what you order. Your sides are going to be like $2 each. And the desserts coming up in a second, they're going to be $3 each. Thoroughly recommend it if you have a chance. Just go one night. Music and food. Who could ask for more? Number nine on my list is a visit to Bonsai Teppanyaki Restaurant. This is only on the horizon and the panorama right now. It's on deck five next to Bonsai Sushi near the Alchemy Bar and Steakhouse as well. You'll come in here. There are two areas where you can sit and have your fun. It's $32. Adult prices only. There are no discounts for children. 
and you can come in here, make the reservations in advance is recommended because it does sell out. Every, every session we saw, they run about 45 minutes, was sold out. This is what you get for your food. Now, this is not, in my opinion, as good as the food in Gigi's. It's more about the experience, but it's still very good. Don't get me wrong. And we had a blast. So visit Bonsai Teppanyaki. My recommendation is to book it in advance, not on board to avoid disappointment of having no availability. Number 10 on my list, actually number one on my personal list, would be Gigi's. I think it's the greatest restaurant Carnival has to offer. It's on deck 11 on the panorama at the back of the ship, right next to the Italian restaurant, but I think it's better than the Italian restaurant. They love to do family style. You're going to pick one, two, or three of each of these choices, depending on the size of your group, and they're going to bring it to your table, and it is more food that you can eat, I promise. I will never not go to Gigi's if it's available on a cruise ship, especially I get my Kirin right there. So you'll order it on this little board here and they will bring it to your table. $15 for adults and $5 for kids. You're not going to beat the value, everybody. What I recommend you do, go on the hub, look at the restaurant menu in the main dining room each night. And if there's one night you don't particularly like the look of, go to this restaurant and make a reservation for that night. The food is amazing. Don't forget the free lunch option, but I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed if you go to dinner. So this is Gigi's, my number one. So that's my top 10, but I'm going to give you a bonus challenge. When you're on board a cruise ship, try and do something you've never done before. Something that takes you completely out of your comfort level. How about the hairy chest contest? I do this and look what I do. Yes, that's correct. Nipple tassels. There's many other things in the hairy chest contest. If you don't want to do this, they have the lip sync battle. You can make your own drinks, challenges. There's so many things you can do. Do something that takes you out your comfort level. Nobody's going to see you again. Who cares? Just do it for the fun of it. Um, maybe you don't go quite as far as I do, but maybe I'm a little bit different than a lot of people. Maybe I just don't care. I either win this thing or I get booted out in the first round. There's never any in between. But I have fun with it and hopefully I give a lot of other people fun. But as you can see, sometimes you can win. Like that. Hurrah! Try it. Go out your comfort zone. All right, so there you go. 10 wonderful things you can do. You may not have thought about doing. You may not even know you could do, but they're all on the Carnival Panorama. There's gonna be a lot more on the Mardi Gras. Uh, I'll be going on there on celebration in 2022, and I'm planning on not getting off and just doing videos the whole damn week because we're going on Radiance a couple of weeks before that. Same itinerary, so there's no need to get off. I can enjoy that ship. Sometimes that's a good idea. Anyways, hope that helped. Subscribe if you liked it. Don't subscribe if you didn't. And don't write negative comments. Don't, don't threaten to break my hands like somebody did recently because I suggested that I might possibly remove his towel if he put a clip in it and left it for two hours. Uh, it was a joke. If you can't get British humour, don't watch my videos. Anyways, see you later, Cruising World. Any questions? Email me anytime. CruisingSuitGuy at gmail.com. I promise I'll reply as soon as possible. Want to book a cruise or any type of travel? We are travel agents. Check out our site, elitetravelconnection.com or email me, mick at elitetravelconnection.com. We are here for you. Finally, subscribe, please, pretty please. You know you want to, go on. I won't beg you, okay, I'm begging. Please, subscribe. Thank you.